What's up lovers of whiskey and watchers of YouTube, I am the malt activist and yes, I know I took a couple of weeks off and the reason for that is this, this worm on my face, that's right, I decided for the month of November to do something symbolic for men's health and I decided to let the stash grow freely, that's right and this is what you get, apparently this look that I'm sporting is actually called the sex offender. No, the real reason is I decided that during the month of November, which uh, where we should all raise awareness for men's health, I decided I would take a break from A, drinking alcohol and B, consequently not being able to make any real videos. However, today is the last day of November and I'm in two minds whether I should keep this or let it go. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm rocking this or I'm shocking this? I don't know. Leave it in the comment below if you think I should keep my stash. Personally, I've kind of become uh, kind of become really fond of it, you know? I keep doing this, which is good. Anyway, so here's the deal. Uh, for my for my comeback video, if you like, I wanted to talk to you about five high strength whiskies or five cost strength whiskies that I always have on my shelf. The absolute first whiskey I want to talk to you about is the one that set me down this road of high strength goodness. And it is none other than, drum roll please, the Glen Livet Nadura, 16 years old. 16, make sure you see the 16. And this one is a cast strength bottling. It's ah, nice ABV, 53%. And bottled on 9-11. <laughs> well, well, I don't know if that's symbolic of anything. Reminds me of that tragedy. Um, but yes, but let us not digress. This is this is not about this is not about um, tragedies. This is about discovering the finer things in life. And for me, this 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 Glen Livet Nadura, cast strength, sixteen year old, is one of those few whiskeys that ha that are etched in my mind in my brain in my heart on my soul because i remember many 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 years ago when i when i decided oh i am going to waste all my money drinking and buying whiskey this particular this particular bottle made its way through to me and i didn't even know anything about whiskey at that time i didn't know what cast strength meant i didn't even know what glenlivet meant let alone i didn't know what 16 years meant but then i got this whiskey in my hand and i said whoa that's a, that's a high number. I've never seen that number before. Uh, and then I poured it and I drank it and it was just creamy goodness of like biscuits and, and vanilla and coconut and everything that you love and you find in a patisserie or a confectionery. It was all in this whiskey. These are magnificent first fill bourbon barrels that Glen Livet has used and it's, it's stored, it's near perfect distillate into these barrels and then 16 years later it has emerged in the form of the Nadura. And I, oh, I can't tell you enough how absolutely wonderful this whiskey is and they've come up with this new versions as well right the non-age statement you have all the rosa sherry nadura you have a peated nadura and you have all those other bastardized naduras which should never have been bastardized in the first place which falls so short so painstakingly short of of this beauty you know this this near perfect whiskey that i have in my hands and they fall so painstakingly short of this masterpiece that they're not worth buying. Do not waste your money on the non age statement Naduras from Glenlivet. Instead, instead, take my advice like you have been doing all these years and go out and find and explore until you get your hands on this wonderful cost strength whiskey from Glenlivet. Make sure it says 16. Make sure it says it is a sweet, sweet 
16. One of the first cast strength whiskeys that I had. So gorgeous, so delicious that I said, this is it. I am going to spend the rest of my life draining my resources and my funds and my kids' college funds on this, on this dastardly exercise. But you know what? I'm glad I did. It is a fantastic whiskey. And if you can find, if you can find it, oh, you will thank me like you always do. Almost the very next whiskey that I was enamored by and I wanted to taste was the brilliantly constructed Octomore. That's right. If you know what the Octomore is, this is the brainchild of the legend, Mr. Jim McKeown, ex distiller, uh, head distiller for Bruchladig, who decided he was going to make something phenomenally peaty, phenomenally smoky, and at a massive, massive uh, cost strength. And so he came up with the Octomore. This one that I have has been peated to a magnificent 167 ppm. Just to give you an example, an average Ardbeg 10 is roughly 30 to 40 ppm. This beast is four times as much. There are more, there are bigger and, 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 and larger numbers to be found on the Octomores. However, this is just an example. So high strength whiskey, but, but full of Isla of flavors. So you're looking at the, the gorgeous peat and the smoke and the fishnets and the brininess and the saltiness of that coastal area. But then, ooh, coupled with that and balanced with that is that wonderful, wonderful vanilla and the butterscotch and the lemon drizzle that you will find in this whiskey. It is truly an iron fist in a velvet glove. That's what they say. And it is one of my picks for a cast strength whiskey that you must have on your shelf. Shortly after that, I stumbled into Lefroig, not very far from Brookladdick, on the Isle of Isla, and I came across this magnificent beast. This is the Lefroig 10 year old cast strength, and I remember when I first drank it, I was like, OMG, what the hell is going on here? This is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful series of whiskeys to come out of Art Bag. <laughs> They're all uh, aged for 10 years and bottled at natural cost strength. This particular one that I have is at 58%, as you can see. Uh, this is number 10, but we are up to number 14, by the way. And I have to tell you, there's not a single batch from this series that has let me down. Each one uh, has its own nuances, its own unique uh, signature, and that's what sets it apart each, each batch has uh, has a unique characteristic of its own so i've made it a point to collect every single batch since the day it's come out and yes it's another pointless exercise on how to drain your resources behind this dastardly dastardly hobby that we we all seem to have and love but uh, the Lefroig, oh, the cast strength series, it has all the signatures of the Lefroig distillery, the iodine, oh, and the, and the red berries and the cherries and the lozenge, uh, oh my God. But then coupled with this beautiful smoke, oh, this lovely smoke, uh, and, and, uh, and then this earthiness and, and a green herbaceous touch to this whiskey uh, that you will find in most of the batches. It is truly, truly a testament to what that distillery can produce. And, and I'm sad to see uh, that Mr. John Campbell decided to move out of Lefroig. And I really, really hope his departure does not affect quality. And I really hope it doesn't. Uh, I think there's, uh, uh, there's a very uh, you know, uh, able people at, um, at Lefroig and I hope they continue uh, Mr. John Campbell's good work. So here's also a little farewell to the, to the master, uh, Mr. John Campbell, who has been giving us such wonderful whiskeys over the last so many years. Uh, but for my pick as a cost strength whiskey to have on your shelf, nothing, really nothing can beat this Lefroig 10 year old. It is an absolute must. You must find it. You must buy it. And then you must drink it. Ah, oh, it's absolutely wonderful. No list can be complete without the powerhouse. That is Springbank. 
That's what I'm talking about. I have here in my hand the 12 year old. This is bottled at a cost strength of 55.3% ABV. And let me tell you something guys, there's something magical in the land of Campbelltown and the whiskeys that they make and the flavors that they produce and, and especially this gorgeous, oh, this gorgeous label. Look at that logo, my God, I love it. Uh, especially this distillery, it produces some stunning, 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 stunning drams. And this one is probably very, very high up on that, on that pile. And uh, this 12 year old cost strength, just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous whiskey. Um, you know, it, it has a, a very earthy, very earthy peat that's very different from Isla peat. This is more, Isla peat is more maritime, but this uh, Cameltown peat is very earthy. It's very diesel fuel, but in a good way. If you can like diesel fuel, believe me, I'm telling you this, is, you'll have experienced something fantastic and just, you know, flavors of uh, just uh, fruits, but, uh, but its own smokiness and its own very, very unique oak that, uh, that Springbank brings to their whiskeys. It is, Phenomenal. It's one of the first spring banks that I had uh, when I was on my quest to find uh, you know, one cast strength whiskey after the other. And this was the one uh, that I uh, happened to come across uh, representing Campbelltown and I was not disappointed. It is truly a remarkable uh, whiskey and it is a testament to how great a distillery spring bank is. So I will always have this on my shelf to drink, to serve, to share with friends, and I suggest you do too. And the last but not the least is a bit of a curveball. This is the one that I, ah, uh, <laughs> I uh, discovered uh, quite recently, and I'm so glad I did. And for me, no, uh, no high strength or cost strength list will be complete without a good bourbon, and in this case, this is the Elijah Craig small badge barrel proof. Check this out. This is bottled at 62.12% ABV. When I tell you this is a powerhouse, this one will knock you off your feet. I am not kidding. I remember putting this in my mouth. Please, no sexual innuendos. Thank you. I remember putting this in my mouth and thinking, OMG, this hit the spot. Once again, no sexual innuendos, please. And man, the chocolate and the leather and the oak and the vanilla and the coffee and the, the roasted coffee beans and, and oh, just everything good, you know, salted caramel, everything good that you will find in a bourbon, but now amplified, amplified by an additional 20 something percentage points for this. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. I have this one open. Oh. Man, I don't know if it's just me, but but a good bourbon, that a nose on a good bourbon just tingles and sets off all the right sensors in my brain and makes me happy and makes me want to drink. And this Elijah Craig small batch barrel proof is absolutely no exception. Uh, damn, this is one of the finest, finest bourbons that you can get your hands on. It's easily available. I don't think it's very, very expensive. Actually, you know what? This, this video is not about price. Um, but you know, if you can get your hands on this, damn son, so good. So please find yourself this Elijah Craig barrel proof, small batch. Make sure it's like super high strength and then just take a, take a sip of this dram and just leave it on your tongue, on your palate and let it stay and let it coat and then all the goodness will flow over you and you will say, hallelujah, what a whiskey. So that was it. Those are my five cost strength whiskeys that I always have on my shelf to, to, to drink, to share, to serve to my friends. And uh, you should too, if you can find them, if you can get your hands on them, believe me, your, your, your thirst for high strength whiskeys will be quenched if you have any one of these on your shelf. I've had such good memories with all these whiskeys and I'm, I think I'm emotionally connected to them because they started me off on this journey. They were my, they were my experimental whiskeys and they didn't let me down. And I'm so happy that I managed to try uh, all of these on, on this list. So there you go. So these are my cast strength whiskeys, top five cast strength whiskeys that you must have on your shelf. In my next video, I'm going to find you some affordable 
cast strength whiskies, let's say under 50 pounds. I know it's going to be a tough ask, but I think I can manage to find, uh, find some for you. So please stay tuned for my next video, which is going to be five cast strength whiskies at an affordable price. How does that sound? Sounds good. Of course it does. Anything to save money and get delicious stuff at the same time. So there you have it. So thank you, thank you for joining me for this uh, awesome video. Uh, remember, men's health is an important thing, so stay safe out there and protect yourselves and all the good stuff, and I will see you next time. I am The Vault Activist, peace.